Well, hello again. Derby Jack here. And uh, just want to let y'all know about, I told you about the power of prayer. Okay? Power of prayer is very powerful. Believe it or not. When, when two or more, three or more gather, actually it's three or more. I think it says two or more. Sorry, three or more gather together in his name. Okay? When you pray. And you're true believers. Not fake believers, not, you know, emotional believers. We're talking spirit-filled believers. When, when, when you got everybody, it, it doesn't matter whether you're miles away, but if you're all praying for the same thing. So if you all had been praying for this ministry of mine, of God's, that I'm working in, and that this vehicle, this RV, uh, was going to work. Well, let me tell you about the power of prayer, and let me tell you about the power of perseverance. My buddy out in California, the situation is the old, it's an older woman, an older man who add this in their older years, in their later years. They're in their 80s and her husband's bedridden and will probably die in about a month or two. And of course, pray, you know, that he may hold on a little more for his, but him and his wife can no longer, and their children are far away. Some, I guess they're out west or I mean out east somewhere or anywhere. <laughs> cross country somewhere but they no longer can I guess come and help so they're going to be going into a nursing home pray for these people I don't remember I don't even know their names but nursing homes ain't always a good place anymore but you pray that they get the be whether it's her or husband both that they get the best care they can and they're in the right place for them because my friend Lee had talked to the lady and told her pretty much all everything about us. She almost was going to try to sell it to a couple homeless people who wanted it, but she didn't want it to be done taken for that reason. There's enough of them things hanging around California on the streets with the tents next to them. What she was what she heard from him that what I am doing in my ministry, and he's also a musician, and we'll be working together, and he's got things he's doing, and we'll be going out on the road and traveling, and she turned around and just looked him in the straight in the eye, and I guess just said, I'll just give it to you. We were trying to get her down to like from the thousand to ninety, I mean even a thousand, if we, if I could pull off a thousand, that would be, it, it wouldn't have been bad, but she's giving it to us. The only thing is, is a waiting period because they got to have their consecutor or their lawyer or something. It's got to be approved because they can't go into a nursing home with assets. I mean, that house is going to be turned over. Uh, 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 I don't know how they do all that stuff because people are still alive. So whatever they do in their in their in their living wills or whatever you want to call it, um, as they're going to be transitioning or she will be transitioning to an elderly home, they can't have vehicles. They can't have cars or anything like that. So, um, yeah, so she's got to go over that. There might be a little fee of transfer anywhere from 25 to $50 or whatever like that. Um, uh, that would be pretty much it. And, and then when the papers, then he's got people who are going to be driving it here because they need to go uh, uh, from California. They're coming to Tennessee. They're songwriters too. So they're coming back here as me and a songwriter leaving, you know, there you go, trading songwriters. But basically they're coming back. Well, they got roots here in, in, in Nashville. But uh, hell, they get over here and we just start talking before I take everything and you know, maybe, maybe I'll have a connection here anyway. Don't know how all that's gonna work. I'm not even worried about that. My main thing is not worried about connections here. My thing is connecting out there for, 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 for God and his word and the people. So I just wanted to give you a little bit about what's going on and how powerful the prayers are. So if whoever's been doing this praying, man, keep praying. I mean, I'm, I'm praying and I, I even got old Leo, my buddy praying, you know, and, 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 and we're gonna, you know, and, and I, I just believe this is meant to be now. If she's really, if she's willing to give this thing, this thing could actually be sold for about what, uh, it's, 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 it's nice condition as it is and the engine that's in it this thing could be sold for about 3200 I mean if not more but we're getting it for free so you got to understand God is working the only thing is now I've, I've got a waiting game until this stuff is taken care of it takes a little while it could take another week or two and I'm getting down to the wire this last month 
And the last thing I want to do is remember, the money that's being given to me is not being used. I have money for what I'm doing here and to help me get out. The money is for when we're out there. So any money that is still donated is not coming here. The money is going when we're out there. So I'm, I'm just wanting to get out of here before I would have to do another month. And then that's where another month where I have certain bills I want to break off of. I want to break off my Xfinity. I want to get off the, you know, uh, I, I want to cut off the electric, you know, eventually where I'm ready to go at the end of the month. And I don't want to have to pay for another. That's what I'm working on. So depending on how all this works, and I got to get rid of some of the stuff that's in my apartment, giving it away, throwing it away or selling it, whatever I got to do. So I haven't started anything yet because I'm still... In, in that, you know, but it's a lot closer. So in saying that, I just wanted to bring all that to your attention for you people who are praying and you people who have some, you know, when you're, when you're praying, you're part of this ministry. If you've given money, you're still a part of this ministry. So that's the whole point, that you're, you're, you're the family of, uh, uh, of ministry. And, and that's, what I, that's how I look at it. So family, keep praying. Whoever can, keep giving. And believe me, if, if, it's, if it's God's will, maybe, just maybe, you might see me coming down the street in your, in your area. Who knows, you know? Oh, I'd let you know ahead of time. I'm not going to. I don't know where you live, so I'm going to. No, so you know what I'm saying. It's like there's certain people I want to visit. One person already knows that I'm going to be coming first to them if I can, so um, before I go out west. So, you know, we're, we're working on that. So um, keep praying. Well, like I said, keep giving and keep praying. Because prayer is very powerful, as you can tell. So, Derby Jack out. See you all on the other side and maybe out there.